Hello, this is Mark with Cadence, and I'm here to show some new updates to Cadence theme, including a new style guide, some extended colors in the color palette, uh, additional button controls, and new font clamp sizes uh, in the theme. So, without further ado, let's just get right into it. In the customizer, if you look in the top left, you'll find a new style guide button. This opens up sort of an overview of your site's design, quick access to some of the most common settings you might want to use, and sort of a preview of how different colors and fonts and things are going to work and work together. So you can see typography, colors, buttons, logo, etc. And all these sections are sort of clickable, so when you click them they snap you right to the customizer settings area to edit um, that particular option. So, nice way to sort of navigate around. Uh, first thing we can sort of go over is probably the <clears throat> uh, extended color palette here. So, the color palette is up to 15 colors from 9, including 5 new notice colors, success, info, alert, warning, and rating, as well as one new unique color accent complement. So, this one's unique because it's linked to your accent color. It's the complementary color to your accent. So if you change your accent color, it's going to change along with it. Now complementary colors, if you want to get all color theory about it, is a color that's across the color wheel from uh, the color you're picking. So blues get yellows, purples get greens, reds get blues, that kind of thing. Um, they're called complementary because they generally look nice together. They complement each other, and they can create nice sort of like bold poppy designs when you place them next to each other. So they can look good, and we're excited to see how people might use this linked color um, to sort of help their designs stand out and um, make their site look nice and snappy. Uh, I can kind of demonstrate how that might look. I've got this page, story page, and there's this new way to drink coffee section right here. Uh, might want it to make it make want, might want to make it stand out just a little bit more. So I'm going to go ahead and give the background of this section a uh, complementary sort of split. I'm going to kind of split it with a gradient. So I'm going to do a gradient, and then I'm going to choose my accent color for one breakpoint and my accent complement for the other. That looks okay-ish already, but I'm just going to go ahead and make it a strong straight split right at the middle. I like the way that looks. I should probably change this to white. And there we go. I like the way that looks. Complementary colors, so they complement each other. I think that makes that section stand out a lot more and look nice and snappy there. Got it on the page itself there. Yeah, I like the way that looks. Okay, that's complementary colors. Um, same sort of deal for the all the notice colors. You can use those to sort of bring your site design together, keep all the areas that you want. Um, for if you're using like forms, you can use that for your form notice and alert and blah blah colors. Um, choose that for your checkout colors, etc. The other thing worth noting about the complement is that it's linked, so it's a little bit of a special color when you look at it in the palette. If you want to unlink it from the accent, you can, and just use it like another uh, color in your palette. You can just choose a static color for it. That's totally fine. That's up to you. Uh, moving on to buttons. We've relabeled our, our, our general button styles controls to base button styles, and also added controls for secondary buttons and outline buttons. Um, outline buttons, everyone's sort of familiar with. They've been selectors and options to choose an outline button before, um, but now we're giving you explicit theme level control of how those outline buttons look. So that'll give you more design consistency across your site with those outline buttons. We've additionally provided controls for a secondary button, um, a secondary fill style button, 
um, that are now selectable in things like your header buttons and cadence blocks and all that uh, and all that good stuff there. So the base button styles are the same exact styles you already know and use. Nothing has changed there. Same controls, same effects of your overall buttons on your site. Um, these two just provide additional levels of control for these other kinds of buttons. So, for instance, I've got an outline button in my header here, coffee time and snack time. Um, I can now change, maybe I don't want that border to be the, the peach border anymore. So, I can change the actual outline styles there and maybe choose um, something else there. I want it to be teal with a, uh, let's, I don't know, maybe a compliment border. Actually, maybe it would look better if it was peach on the inside, teal on the outside. I don't know. But you can chain, you can have explicit control over your um, over your outline styles now. Over your outline styles now, which you didn't necessarily have before at the um, at the theme level, and that'll apply to all your outline buttons across the site. Of course, that also um, extends into Cadence blocks when you're making buttons in blocks you will now have um, options to select the um, fill outline theme base or theme secondary. So a fill button is sort of a blocks opinionated fill button, whereas the theme base is your actual theme styles. And then uh, similar for outline and theme secondary, those are going to be linked more up to your, um, to your theme styles there. <clears throat> So you can use these new button options to create an increased level of consistency across your site when you're using Cadence theme, whether you're using Cadence blocks or, uh, or not there. Last but not least, uh, we've got clamp sizes for fonts. So the traditional way that you set up font sizes in the theme is by setting up something like a 20 pixel font size and then if you want that size to be a little bit different on different screen sizes, you would use these responsive options to say, I want it 20 pixels on desktop, 18 on tablet, 16 on mobile, and it will just cut between those. It'll go 20, 18, 16. Clamp sizes are a more fluid way of managing your uh, responsive font sizes. So you'll find that under the font size option, there's a new little settings gear here for clamp sizes. And then you can open up the clamp size settings. Here you just provide a general range of screen sizes that you want to cover and a range of font sizes that you want your font to scale between. So you can choose a sort of mobile-ish screen size and maybe a des desktop-ish screen size here and then a smallest range. I'm going to make this grossly exaggerated so we can see how it works and a top level range. So this is going to make my font size 30 pixels at 1200 and above and 8 pixels at 400 screen size and below. But in between those two it's going to scale fluidly. It's going to transition smoothly between 8 and 30. So instead of you know, the responsive where it's it's just three breakpoints. This is a fluid um, motion. It's a fluid shift between those as you scale between the screen sizes. So it can be a nicer look um, without just having the, 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 the steps. So I'm just going to publish that and we'll kind of see that in action here. Let's find. So you can see this is a font size that was affected here. I'm just going to go ahead and open my responsive here. And you'll see that it's going to scale as I go down. As I sort of, as I sort of drag, it's scaling fluidly between those two sizes, going all the way to the tiny eight pixel size. Obviously, that's exaggerated um, for this example, but that's how those work. Last thing to note for this update. Uh, there was a small um, feature request completed in the page settings for um, your pages. 
there is now an option to add a class per page. So if you want to um, add that class to a specific page and then style that to your liking or target it, whatever you need to use uh, that for, that is available now. It just applies that class to the body of, um, of that particular page. So on this page, there it is, test class right in the body there. So yeah, that's everything uh, for the update. New button controls, extended color palette, some font, font size settings. Uh, and it all gets sort of brought together in this new uh, design overview in the style guide, in the customizer. I hope you enjoy these new features, and thank you for using Cadence.